here's the pattern, the main melody of the sample. The preset is from Contact Factory Library number two. I went with the Celesta in the acoustic section. Predefire preset, bro. Let me just preview it real quick. But I made this uh, pattern with it, so it might look a little complex, but I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna delete this, and this will note. Yeah, so basically this is a 1-5 chord progression, so if we bring out the minor scale right here, and put it right here, we put it on F minor, 1-5, so we start off at the 1, start off at the 1, and then the second chord is on the 5th note in the scale, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up here. So these are the root notes of the chord, and then I just pitched it down an octave. After I had these two, you know, I just made a chord and right here another chord so we had these two chords so these are the chords but obviously they don't sound like that over here so what i did after i had the chords i just duplicated some notes up an octave try different notes up an octave down an octave chopped up some chords here and added one extra note here yeah basically i just tried to find something that sounded nice and had a nice rhythm to it and uh, yeah i came up with this and then for the second part it's the same rhythm as you can see on the velocities but it's not the same pattern a lot of times i might just do this which could work sometimes, but this time I just wanted to make something a little bit more unique. It's pretty much the same thing. I just made a, I used the minor chord right here, these three notes and uh, moved some notes to the side right here, pitched some notes up one octave. So this is the third right here, pitched up one octave. And this is the root note, pitched up one octave, and then just moving stuff around back and forth, find a nice rhythm again. But here's what the two chords sounds like. So yeah, it's pretty simple, but it's kind of catchy. So I just kept it like this throughout the whole melody. So I just duplicated it for four bars. After I had this, I made the top line right here. So I just made this top line melody right here. I actually played it on the MIDI. But some tips I can give you is the melody lands right here. If I highlight the note, it lands on at every bar. It's the fifth of each chord. So this is the fifth of the F minor. And G is the fifth of the C minor. So it sounds good like this. If I remove all these middle notes. It sounds good. And then the transition notes, the half step makes a huge difference in it. So if I would have placed it like this, maybe it would still work. But it sounds better with the half steps when it like transitions with a half step. So it works, but you know, the half step just sounds better. And this section right here is in thirds. So if we put one third beat, you can see they're on the grid. And for the last part, I just duplicated it over right here and here, and then just moved the notes to something that sounded good. And I came up with this right here. Uh, after I had the MIDI, I randomized the velocities and strummed some notes, as you can see. So what I like to do, I'm gonna just quantize everything. And what I like to do, I just press Alt S strum it pretty drastically and then i just highlight uh, the top notes maybe and hold shift and scroll backwards and i just listen through it to and move some notes back and forth with the shift and the scroll wheel and um, until i hear something that i like the alt s command can sound uh, really like can sound hella robotic Sometimes it sounds really bad, so just uh, strum it and then move some notes around. But that's for the MIDI. After I was done with the MIDI, I went to the mixer. I added a delay tape. After that, I added a pitch uh, shifter and an EQ boosting some frequencies here and taking out the lows. And finally, a portal, a retro futuristic preset in the green experiments bank and i turned it down a lot so it barely does anything to the sample on 15%. So here's what the pattern sounds like with the effects. But yeah, that's the first melody. And then I render out to an audio file right here. Then for the second part right here, it's the same melody right here, but without the top line. So it's just the chords in this section. So we got the audio file with the top line. And then we got the audio file without the top line. After I had the melody, I added a one-shot bass, and the bass is from Square One Shots by Oscar Zulu. It's the bass number three right here, and I just followed the root notes, and at the end, I just chopped the root note up here and pitched up one octave and made this stutter thing.
So that's everything for this first part. I didn't want to add too many like counter melodies or anything to the melody because it was like already pretty full right here. So for the second part, when I just had the chorus, I could add another counter melody. So I did that right here. So I went to contact uh, to vocalize three. I went to the melodic phrases C minor preset. So if you go to the bank and then the first folder and then down to C minor, this one right here, then I tuned it to E because we're in E minor. And I find this uh, phrase right here on the A key. So the reason I chopped it up right here in the middle is because I didn't want to, like, I could keep it like this, but I feel like it would have been too repetitive. And yeah, I didn't find any other phrases in this bank that worked well with this one. Most of them are really fire, but with this one, I didn't find anything that worked well. On the effects, I turned up the stereo a little bit and I added an EQ, boosted the highs a lot and took out the low frequencies. So that's the second part. For the third part, I brought back the top line audio file with the chords, of course, and I opened up an al analog lab. This one right here is from Jordan Fox Synthesis Analog Lab Bank right here and this preset. And I just added one note right here at every other bar. I didn't want to add too many, like too much counter melodies to the melody because it's already like pretty complex. And then for the final part, I, I used the section without the top line, just the chords, and I brought back the vocals again. Yeah, that's pretty much it for... Ah, fuck, this computer is getting hot, bro. Uh, after that, I just rendered out everything to a audio file and routed it to Mixer Channel 21. I added a soothe just to clean up the sample a little bit. I tried out this uh, VST for the first time, and it like automates a mixer chain a mastering mix mixer chain for you it just listens to your sample and then uh, eqs it adds some imaging to it and does some stuff to it so here's the eq he boosted some highs took out some lows and then an imager i don't know how this imager works but you know some stereo with hair i don't know exactly what it did and a dynamic eq and a maximizer that i had to turn down over here because it just blew my ears out it was hella loud but other than that it was pretty solid and then i added an eq to cut some frequencies here so i'm gonna play with the sample without uh, the mixer chain and then turn on the mixer chain so you can hear the difference so that's without the mixer chain this is with the mixer chain but here's the final melody But yeah that's pretty much it for the breakdown hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and yeah i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video